This is Chris Kelly, your MFIT Foundation Challenge Workout 1. Okay, the goal with our challenge workout is to perform this workout as quickly as we can with proper form. Right? And today's rep scheme is 20 to 2. Okay? And what this means is that we have a circuit of four exercises that I'm going to demonstrate. You're going to perform 20 reps for each exercise as a circuit. You're going to go through the circuit, you know, 20, 20, 20, 20. You know, everything is 20 over the first round. We're going to start over and then we're going to perform 18 reps of each thing. So 18, 18, 18, 18. We're going to start over again, perform 16 reps of each thing. 16, 16, 16, 16. The way this works as a rep scheme is that we count from 20 to 2 by 2, meaning we subtract 2 from each circuit as we go along. All right? The goal is to set a clock and see how long it takes you to get through this 20 to 2. All right? Generally with us, you're going to have, uh, we keep these workouts the same for anywhere from you know, two to three weeks, so you're going to have a couple chances to, to move through this workout. The goal is to record the amount of time that it takes you to get done and try to decrease that number with each subsequent time that you perform this workout. All right, so here's the way this is going to work. We have a kettlebell here uh, for this workout. That's, what, that's all we're going to need. All right, our first exercise is going to be a kettlebell thruster. With this one, I'm just going to come into a squat, stand, and push the kettlebell over my head. Okay, pretty simple. Um, again, just so make sure you're using a fairly light weight, you know, and not arching your back. So as you press, try to keep your back flat as opposed to arching as you press up and down. All right, so that's exercise one. Exercise two, you know, attempting to keep your kettlebell in your hand would be a step up. Okay, so we have one foot up here, step up, step down. You know, this is a fairly low step. You can go higher. That would be uh, 20 steps on each leg. It's a lot, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's how we roll for that. All right, our third exercise would be a kettlebell one-arm row. Okay, so for one-arm row, I'm just holding on to something, I'm pulling into my pocket, again, making sure my back is flat. The key to the one-arm row is I'm not rounding my back, okay? So back stays flat, holding on to something for support. Again, 20 reps on each side. Last exercise, 20 kettlebell swings. I'm gonna grab the kettlebell, swing it behind me, back stays flat, weight is in my heel and my midfoot, Swinging for 20 reps, okay? Notice that as I swing, I'm not going over my head because again, that's gonna cause me to arch my back. I'm swinging to the middle, pushing down at the top, so pushing down here. I'm throwing it back down so I can move faster as I go along. Once again, 20 to two, count your time to completion. Good luck.